Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I want to talk about something that I often do to my landscape images. More specifically, my landscape images that are lacking color in the sky. For example, I have this image. The sky looks pretty nice. There's some nice clouds in the sky, but overall the sky is kind of drab. It's lacking color. And overall, the image is rather cool. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to add some warm tones to the highlights of the sky, the brighter parts of the sky to offset the coolness of the water and so on. Well, there's a number of different ways you could do that in Lightroom. Let's go over to the basic tab and you can see I did some basic processing on it already. One way you could warm up the sky is you could go to the temp slider. You could see it's set as as shot right now. If I take the temp slider and move it to the right, you'll definitely add yellow to the sky, but unfortunately you're adding yellow everywhere. And I don't want to add yellow everywhere. The lighthouse already is a bit warm. I don't want to make it any warmer. Also, I don't want to warm up the water. I like the cool color tones of the water. I want to just offset that with the sky having some warm tones in it. Also, if you look at this foliage, it's fluorescent. It's so colorful. And let me set this, uh, the white balance back to as shot. And you can see I didn't even do anything with vibrance or saturation in that uh, foliage is just very, very colorful. So I definitely don't want to add any more yellow to the foliage. So what can you do? Well, you could go to color grading. There is a highlights um, section here and we could add yellow tones to the highlights. But again, it adds it everywhere. I don't want to add it everywhere. I just want it on the sky. So what can we do? Well, let me reset this. We'll reset that highlights. Well, we could add a mask, right? So we'll go to masking and I already added one mask and all this mask is, is it's for everything but the sky. What I did was, you can see there's before I added this mask and after I added that mask, all I did with this mask is I brought exposure up 0.19. That was it. That's all that was done. Uh, to this. Nothing else, no color adjustments, nothing. So that's all I did as I brightened up the uh, area that wasn't the sky basically. But I want to do something with the sky, right? So we're going to add a new mask. We're going to create a new mask and we're going to select the sky. All right, so we have the sky selected. What could we do to add color to the sky? Well, again, we could go to color and you could do temp, but I don't want to do that because even there it's adding the yellow tones everywhere in the sky and I don't want to do that. I want to add it just to the brighter parts of the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to curve. More specifically, we're going to go to the very last curve, the blue curve. And you'll notice the blue curve, the top left hand part of it is blue and the lower right hand part of it is yellow. If I take this angled line that's in the curve and I pull it down towards yellow, I'll add yellow everywhere. I don't want to add it everywhere though, so I'm going to reset this. What I want to do is add it just to the highlights, and the highlights are in this upper part of the curve. So what I'll do is I'll put an anchor point right in the middle, then I'll put another one maybe about here, then I'll go to this brightest tones that are way up here, maybe even add another anchor point there. We'll go to this brighter tones, and I'll just pull that down. Now you can see how it's adding yellow. I'll overdo it just to the brightest part of the sky and not anywhere else. And that yellow is now offsetting the blues that are pervasive throughout the entire image. And the yellow is not affecting this foliage or lighthouse or anything else. It's just being added up here in the sky. And that's how I go about adding some color to the highlights of the sky. I use the curve adjustment inside of the new masking that's found in Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.